Hi guys, Patho Gaming right here right now, bringing you another TFT session today with Paper. Welcome! Hello, hello. Thank you for joining us. So, <laughs> this is a Master D1 lobby, as I can see. Yeah. Or D2. Yeah, yeah Master D2. My name is Mars Harden. It really is. <laughs> so... Let's see how you do. You said you did fair, fairly poorly, but you didn't tell me the final the final placement, so you don't have to spoil it for for us. Uh, um, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna be it's fine. Yeah, I won't spoil I'll, I won't spoil it other than my sour attitude. Don't you worry. I wanted to choose a good game for coaching as opposed to one where I win. Oh no, no worries. Even if you win, I can win. I can flame you. Don't like. Don't worry about that. Um, uh, I mean, sure. <laughs> So, what do you start with and why? Yeah, okay. So, there's a multi-step process to it. So, the first thing is, I would start Sword in a perfect world. Okay. I usually don't win Carousel, so I don't sweat it. Um, okay. So, because I don't win Sword, it's usually tier above. And the, the reason I index a little more towards Glove is that the comp I'm most comfortable playing is this... It's like a Moonlight hybrid where okay. I will play a Felios carry, and if I got a Moonlight Silas or something, awesome. I'll play it the whole game. I'll four-star. If I don't, I will two-star my Moonlight units, have three-star Felios carry, and then at eight, I'll just transition because at that point, I've got yep. items for Ash, I've got items for Jin, and so I find that it's uh, of having excess gloves works pretty fine. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. You ha you have a plan. Like as long as you know why you're doing what you're doing, it's completely fine. Mm -hmm. So like I I start I start uh, sword armor, and now I'm thinking about tier as well because like lots of options. But if you don't want that many options, then yeah, just mm -hmm. start with whatever you're now comfortable you with. Sword is definitely great. I I used to start so before this patch, I was a essentially a one trick of mage because no one else was playing it and that used to be my style as well just play something that's never contested yeah so you don't have to think as much and you just get good at it okay. but my my mind has changed in this most recent patch and i've succeeded because of it like i yeah i usually would fluctuate between whatever diamond one and masters and masters like zero lp to 10 lp okay and so i was able to find significantly better by actually trying to play a couple comps but, I don't know. Yeah, so right here, um, what I'm thinking, I know I'm going to get gold here, and I was trying to decide if I should level or not. I chose to pick up the units to not level, but I imagine I should have leveled simply because I haven't seen my chosen yet. Um, this is tough, because you want to have the Vanguard pair, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't really level here. So you think, okay. You, like, don't you want to hold the Hecarim and the Wukong, like, for Vanguard pair? Like, obviously you hit yeah. uh, Elderwood uh, Maokai, but, like, you didn't know that here. Yeah, I didn't know. I, my yeah. thought process was, like, I'll have a Wukong pair. And yeah. then because of that, I guess I could have done Wukong and still level up, but just in the moment, I don't, <coughs> I don't know. I usually default, and you'll see in this game in particular, Yeah. I really, really greed money to levels. And, yeah, I mean, I think that in this game, it definitely hurt me in general. I feel like it, it can help me out to just have extra econ to work with. But in this game, you'll see some really tepid leveling. Okay, yeah, we'll see that. So this, I think, is still fine. Uh, they're saying if you can turn up your microphone a little bit, can you do that? Um, let's see. I, is there, there's a thing inside Discord to do that, right? Because it's all maxed on my end, so. Let me go into settings, voice and video. It's input volume, right? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. No, this is, okay, now it's at 100%. It was at 95 before. I'm not. Nice, we got 5% more. more. You got to be happy with that, Demon. You got to be happy with that. You got 5% more. If only you went to 11 Okay, yeah. so let's see what you do here. Mm -hmm. It's fairly <coughs> fairly obvious, but yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I'll... Okay. I'll let you see. So, the, the reason why I was thinking so hard is because I really wanted to play with this item opener. I was saying, like, I, I want to greed for uh, the Silas play, just because I think it's the most consistent, where even if you don't hit a Chosen, you have a very stable stage three and stage four, just because the second you hit two star Silas and or two star Felios and three star Felios, assuming you have uh, whatever one Zeke's, it um, it feels so good. But okay. I know that's a very greedy place. Okay, <clears throat> so right now that like whole concept should be out of the window because you have an Elderwood start, which is probably even stronger than the Moonlight start. Mm -hmm. That's simply because of... Uh, you just hit the Maokai, which means you're you're probably going Ash or uh, Vigar. Yeah, that was, that's what I thought when I picked it up, and you'll see where the game goes. Um, so, typically, I guess it could be it could be Thieves Gloves. Um, mm -hmm. But since you're more like... like y you might even keep the Maokai to, like, 9. So you just... You can slam a, a Hodge. You can summon a Hodge because it's good on Ash and it's good on Vigar as well. So I would mm -hmm. suggest summoning a Hodge here. So nice. Very nice. And throw mm -hmm. on the glove as well for good measure because there's no point. I, I really should have. Yeah. I, know, I mean, I don't know why I was waiting. That was definitely my mistake. I'm not punished here. But I don't know why I didn't just slam the glove. I don't know if you're, if you're not punished entirely. Oh, you are punished. Well, no, because I if she dodged, if she, I, punished, if she dodged she one, not. she could have cast. Oh, she, yeah, if she dodged one, she could have cast it again. If she oh, dodged I one agree. of the autos, you can watch Maokai went off, so I still killed the two units anyway. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 but like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, definitely should have slammed the glove. And Absolutely. positioning wise, okay, do you know how to position Elderwoods? So, usually, when I think of Elderwoods, a couple things I'm thinking that Maokai. And Hecarim are up front. Hecarim ideally would solo if he was two star. Yeah. Otherwise, I was just trying to spread them out because I want my Maokai to slow multiple people with his ult. And then the rest of them are, I mean, it depends a little bit, but it's kind of a clump essentially because you want to give them as much time for your carry in the corner to build up stacks. Um, that's just wrong. Sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, no worries. So what does the Elderwood buff do? I mean, it increases AP, um, AD, health, or not health, uh, armor and MR over two seconds. Like everything. Stats. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you utilize that best? Backline everything. Exactly. Because if you backline everything, the fight will start like a second or two later, which means you already have one of your Elderwood stacks. Gotcha. Right? Like... Isn't that, like, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't come up with this either. I saw some, I think I saw Bebe doing or someone doing it, and it just, like, it just clicked, like, what the hell? Of course. If you backline your Elderwoods, the fight will start a little bit later, and you'll be closer to getting your stack. Okay. And so, with with that setup, would I uh, still corner Nami, or would I put her in between the Elderwoods? You so corner Nami. You corner Nami. You can put Maokai, you can put Hecarim next to her, and Maokai... Uh, Maokai in the middle. Okay. Um, okay, so what is what is the reason to level up here? So my reason is I thought I had a pretty strong board if I could put um, Silas in and I thought I would be able to win streak. So I wanted to A, push streak and B, increase my chances of Lulu and Vagar because I don't want to have the Hajj on Nami even though it's a two-star unit okay. like yeah, it doesn't use it very well. Yeah, you have a good reason, so I'll allow it. Good. You're not just doing it because you feel like you should level up on, on 2 2, so correct. Yeah, you see his positioning? Do you see his positioning? Yeah, I do. So it's better because there's just like more time. By the way, Silas positioning. You said you play a lot of Silas. Mm hmm. So what is Silas positioning? So for me, I usually like. To have him not direct center, so that way he has a chance of when units can walk up from, because people generally are cornering, you have a chance of getting his ult to go onto more than one person. Because I'm not expecting him to go all the way to the back line. Oh, look at I that, yeah. I'm expecting him to uh, That's good. Um, <laughs> so how do you make 
sure that happens more often? I don't know. I always thought it was front line, a little off center. Um, what's the right answer? Uh, the right answer is have have a front line center and have him like second or third row. Because that forces him to go around your front line. Because that way, their front line will walk towards your unit in the middle, and then he'll come a bit later. So like here, this happened. This this was happen. this was perfect for like he positioned. Very poorly and perfect for you. Mm-hmm. But imagine like uh, that. Imagine that Wukong was right across from from Silas. So, like, he, would right so he, he would engage right away and not move. But if Wukong was here, you see my cursor as well, right? Yeah. yeah. So if, if Wukong was here and Silas is here, Wukong will still like walk over to the Maokai. Right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, you have, he has a Thresh, so the Thresh would not move. But like... You sort of want a different front line than Silas, because you'd never want him to take aggro. He's more of a damage unit. So like Tom Kench, okay. Tom Kench is the perfect like uh, beef, whatever, like front line. Cause he just he just did to take damage. Then it's Maokai, and then it's like Silas is obviously a tank, but he's a he's a utility tank that can do damage. So you wanna okay. make sure that he walks up a little bit later. If you have any other front line, that Silas walks up second and everything is like in place. Awesome. So that's just like a okay. tiny, tiny trick. Like I'm, I'm drilling really hard on these tiny things because like you want to push from from master to to grandmaster. So it's like no, all of these perfect. little things, little things like they add up. Maybe maybe you get like a extra two, four, six extra life thanks to that, and it, it adds up. Oh no! I mean, I think that yep. that's great. I want to. This is the exact sort of thing I'm looking for when I'm coaching because I want. I, I told you in like the the DMs like. I hope my answers are bad sometimes, so that way I can like yeah. really learn to think different way. And out of curiosity, right there, do you think it makes more sense? I, I was still holding out hope. Like, if I get a, um, what's his name, an Aphelios, I would play Silas to still do the front line, but then have a two-star Aphelios until I get a Vagar. Okay. But did it make more sense to just pick up Maokai and say, well, maybe I'll get Maokai three? Uh, you don't care about Maokai 3. You don't care about Maokai okay. 3. Um, huh. You have three mages? Okay, let's see how this plays out. You position... Okay, you position TF correctly. It's good. You... Okay, you had... Okay, again, okay. So, again, specifically... Okay, first of all, wrong side for this guy. But how do you yeah. position TF? Uh, so I, he is definitely best in a corner because the way his cards work, you're going to um, increase the likelihood of hitting multiple targets. I sort of said, like, fuck it, like, I'm going to put him in the direct corner as opposed to clumping in with the other mages just in case I face the Zen player. But I, because if you saw before, I did, like, a little... Yeah, um, I'm, I'm happy you scouted. Yeah. I was like, I was just a little scared that I might be facing the Zen player. Does, is it still better to put as many bodies by Nami? Wait, I'm just gonna wait. We need to see the Z player. Okay, so there, there is a Z player. Yeah, he's got a Z two already and a chosen Jarvan. I was scared of him. So exactly. So positioning for this guy. What is positioning for this guy? That can work for anyone else. Trying, yeah, I was trying to have the Z go to my um, TF because. He has low AD, and it just gives my Nami the most amount of time to get a cast off to prevent um, damage from coming through. I just honestly didn't think I had much chance of winning against him. I just wanted to spread out as far as possible and try to take down a unit or two, because I thought that was the best I could do. Um, yeah, I guess you're kind of right. Uh, excuse me. He, he's, he's very stacked. He is very stacked, so... Like, you don't win here, but normally the best positioning against any sort of Shade Assassin is just put your tank in the back, right? So if you had if you had everything like this and Maokai next to Lulu, you're protected against mm-hmm. everything, right? Because, like, Zed would yeah. just attack the Maokai, and if you're playing anyone else, Maokai would just walk up. Mm-hmm. I was just scared about that, though, because I feel like him being two-star... 
he's gonna have whatever 90 ad or something because like the brawler two stars tend to have a decent amount of ad and i i was more scared i didn't think i'd be able to take the zed down fast so giving him ap or more ad quickly scares me but i, I guess it makes sense well he's just gonna he's gonna like three shot the tf and then walk over and start killing everything else in the back mm -hmm. so like if you play the zed player I'm pretty sure everything dies and Maokai survives, which, like, Maokai doesn't do that You'll much. You'll find out on 2-5. Okay. Okay, wow. Wow, nice. If I remember <laughs> I'm fairly sure I faced him on 2-5. Maybe it was 2-6. Um, okay, perfect. We have the hexes. So, positioning TF, uh, it's not corners. It's this hex over here and this hex over here. Most wow. of the time. Okay. And if you want to, like, again, it's TF. He throws cards in a cone. Like, yeah, kind of, whatever, spread out. I have echoes? How do I have echoes? That's really weird. Um, it's, it's fine on do Discord voice. Yeah. Um, so uh, if you put Maokai in the back, like the benefit for TF is they're going to walk up and they're going to kind of like clump up in front of TF. Like if you have this and you put Maokai next to Lulu or like in front of Lulu by like one tile just to be safe. Mm hmm He's going to start walking up. Oh, oh, okay. They can hear you through my mic. Okay, so maybe my mic is a bit too loud then. I'll reduce my mic. Um, yeah, so if you if you put it in front of Lulu, his units are going to start walking up, which means they're going to get closer to the TF, and TF cards might hit more units. Okay. So it's like these tiny, tiny optimization things. Gotcha. So out of curiosity, would you say then, when does it make sense to have your tanks out front, just like a Garen so he can spin on the front line? Or is it is this the classics I remember in set three and 3.5, there's actually like this trend where levels three and level four, you almost always put all your units on the back line. Yep. Should that really hold true again and people just at my ELO are sitting too often with a tank out front? Most of the time you do it because there are very few shed in a, Shade and Assassin players right now. So you'd rather have your tank tanking properly, but if there are a lot of uh, Shade or Assassin players, then you always back on everything. Okay. Because, like, just think about, like, the benefits or, the, like, the cost or the loss or whatever. Like, what if Maokai was in the back? Or, like, like I said, one tile in front of Lulu here. Would it make any difference? Everything would just in kind of fight, start shooting yeah, at Maokai anyway. Mm -hmm. Right? It would just start a yeah. little bit later, but everything would start... But the little bit later would mean Helps. would mean because you have Elderwood, it would be better for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, not against the true damage. But okay, nice. Wow. Yeah. And you pre-level? Sure, why not? That's a two and trick. And so it seems reasonable with the did you the um Three mage over more frontline, right? Yeah. Or do you think that that would? Uh, the three mage makes Nami do a lot more, so it's good. And Lulu's broken as well, so it's good. Mm -hmm. um, also, you should probably buy Vi here over the Wukongs. Do I? I think you I would do, do that. Perfect, right? perfect, perfect. Last second, you did it. You did it. So now it's like, do you make another Hodge? Or like, what do you do? I, I can't you do make remember. Another you hodge. probably have to turn on the sound to see what I said I was going for. I know I grabbed the tier, but I don't know. I think I was actually thinking of Sword was slightly higher priority for me. Um, but <laughs> I... Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah. So you can see I'm showing the other guy. I knew that the Vagar player wanted tier, and he was at 100 health. Okay. So I was literally just like, I can use tier... I'm going to make sure he doesn't get it. Okay. Fair enough. Like, double hodge is not terrible. It doesn't... It's, like, not the best, but it's not... Oh, so you're not making double hodge. Okay, okay, okay. I don't. I... So, the my thought right now is I am definitely playing Vagar for at least a while. Oh, yeah, this is me facing... Holy the, crap. The Nami... The Nami's busted. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're... I was enough to... You're ready to put on a... That's very good. Ready to put on a glove. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. I 
felt kind of bad about this because yeah, okay. she, as a two star. Um, here. Wait, wait. Um, yeah, here I would just consider putting her in over the TF. And keeping the items on her. Yeah. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Because, like, right now, I think it's... She's stronger than one-star Rygar. Right? Mm -hmm. And it, if you didn't notice, it was a CC that won you the game, not the not the damage. Like, last last yeah. round, it was a CC from Nami that won you the game. Because she lifted Zed, like, twice. So... Yeah, that's that's yeah. definitely true. So, that I would... But, like, sense. if you're... You can't sell everything. So you're not making 20 anyway. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I do think the, the Nami here would be better than TF. But let's see. Let's see how it works out. Well, technically, you could sell Lissandra and TF. But, yeah, you want to two-star the, the TF. Yeah. I was happy I rolled damage here. But as you can see... It still wasn't enough. Yeah, I think the Nami would have won there, though. Because the Nami yeah. would, would, would lift. So now, okay, wait. Now, this is just another thing. Maybe maybe we're wrong. Like, I don't know exactly. Mm -hmm. I do pride myself on knowing, uh, on knowing a lot, but I don't know exactly the damage. Doesn't matter what I open. Damage for the champion? Yeah, I, I'm you're not asking, that familiar with... You guys what Nami is? Uh, so we have Vigar. Vigar, okay, he does a lot of damage. Yeah, so Nami, mm -hmm. I know Nami does Nami less than that. I know Nami does less than that. Or 300. I don't know. 325. 325. So it's it's 125, 125. damage less. Or like, mm -hmm. not even, no. Um, It's not 125. It's, yeah, point, it's, it's point 8. Yeah, so it's like, it's like 100 damage less. Yeah. Uh-huh. But a three, uh, but a six seconds stun. Six seconds. So then yeah, you just gotta think about like, is hundred damage worth worth six seconds of a stun? Definitely not. Yeah. So that's why the Nami two would have been better, because you would have a hundred, a hundred. Oh wait, two hundred damage because it, it's cast twice. So two hundred damage less, mm -hmm. but six seconds stun. And she yeah. has more HP as well. So she's like hard. Oh well, Vigar has Elderwood. So like. The HP doesn't really matter. But the, the, the stun is huge. Six seconds stun. Out of curiosity, I, I definitely agree with you there. For sure, this is a mistake. If I'm at Krugs, do you support, though, selling her at that point to just start stacking Vagar going into the next um, stage just because Nami will fall off? Or should I have kept her until I had, like, a six Elderwood situation? Okay, so the way you play it, you sell her as soon as you lose a round. That's kind of like the easiest way to do it. Like you, you can sell it for econ. Like right now you're on a win streak, right? You are on a three win streak. Mm -hmm. So this is like, this loss is huge. It costs you so much gold. Cause like you get two gold here, two gold here. So that's, that's four extra gold you lose by losing here. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that uh, you would win with Nami. Like you would have a better chance to win. Maybe mm -hmm. you don't win, but you would have a better chance to win with Nami. Yeah. With Nami and better positioning, maybe you could take it. No, I think I would have won just because Vagar won his Vagar won because he could life steal. I couldn't yeah. one shot him, and then he could life steal, and so I didn't hit particularly high priority targets with my um, Vagar. But instead, Wait. if I could have bubbled the front line and then had another cast off and bubbled yeah. the Vagar, that actually would have given me time to kill him. But. Especially that's if great. In instead of TF. But that's great. So what did you like? But what do you think was going to happen when you put in the Vigar against him? I mean, I didn't really think I was going to face him. My thought process was okay. like, I'm almost at insta cast. I want to start stacking now. I think it's stronger, but it's definitely not. Well, you're you're, you're facing this guy or this guy, right? Like, uh, you care about the first two. I'm not sure if you faced no, the first guy. Faced oh yeah, that was the Z tank, no. Tank Rocky, I think that was the first round. So then, like, you, the only one you care about is this guy. I should have thought, yeah. So, like, you only care about the guys on a 100 win streak, like, most of the time, right? When, you, when you're mm -hmm. winning a lot, like, you only care about the other strongest guy. So you should have scouted him and realized that if you play Vigar, this is exactly what's going to happen. He's going to hit 
his two lowest HP units, because that's his ultimate, right? Lowest HP. Mm. And they're not going to die. So he actually mm -hmm. does, he actually does, like, essentially Vigar did... Okay, he got one stack, right? By killing the TF, okay. I think two stacks. Oh, wow, two stacks. Oh, okay. Not like two that, stacks. That should be it. Two stacks compared to three stacks, wow. But I still think that even the three stacks is not worth the, the loss here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You buy out the shop? Good. Yeah. And... And you have a Janna here, cool. So like if you had the Nam, you could play Janna at, at six and just like roll with that for a bit. Mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to remember. I'll, we'll see what happens. I think yeah. I get drop gold and I make dirty. I think that's what I do. Yeah, you can definitely sell you can definitely sell cat and Maokai. Selling the TF is questionable. But yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. I TF don't is, remember. TF is the worst mage anyway, so or like for you in the situation. Yeah. So yeah, you, you you can sell the TF. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, nice. I was very happy seeing a new nukes, and I'm like, I've got six um, Elderwood going in at six for sure. Or at least it felt that way. Oh wow, that's a quick USS slam. Okay. Yeah. So I I tend to be overly um optimistic with my qss's uh, i think that's part of the reason why i like glove so much is that i i feel like the classic i'm bad at positioning so i'd rather um have a qss for my carry uh that's a terrible but... excuse that's a terrible excuse <laughs> uh you gotta get better at positioning and the qss it doesn't do much still on stage three yeah, that's fair. I'd say the only thing in my defense is so back when I was one tricking mages. Yeah. Uh, so pre this patch, a good number of those games were Vagar, and I found that the the difference is if Vagar was stacking early, he'd be ahead of the curve on stage four. Yeah. And him being disrupted by Galio and not getting his ults off because they like can cancel it, is actually okay. more impactful than having the whatever Paj Gunblade. And yep. so I, that part was going through my head, but it does yeah, yeah, yeah. in retrospect. That, like, if you have some good reasoning for it, if you think the QSS is good, um, Chalice is an option. It's not that great, but it's like, yeah, I, I would have considered Chalice, but maybe QSS is, is okay as well. Because then, yeah, I mean, you still have the option of blue buff, hopefully. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I mean, I'm like, definitely angling towards blue buff. And this, you can still transition onto any legendary so yeah but the chalice as well so oh nice you're healing nice mm -hmm. yeah the healing is oh, just too good as well oh maokai perfect timing to get more stacks for vigar nice okay so right here i was debating this is something i've i've sort of just do it because nothing feels worse than not leveling here and getting like five owed but i wanted to i was considering selling those first four champions making 40 um and but why not why account. not scout and figure it out like um that's a good question i think i was too busy deciding if i wanted to that i didn't think about oh who am i gonna play so like to... versus this guy i oh it's gonna be tough i think you still loot lose but we'll see mm. i think it was this guy you lose anyway so maybe you wasted your gold and you're on a one win streak oh by the way yeah if you had won the won the round on two seven or two six yeah i would have been so rich you would have been five win yeah yeah it was a shame i couldn't one tap the teemo there but oh never mind other ones are broken Wait, see, can, can you go back for one second actually i meant to meant to double check that did does one of my Ults go, yeah. So they both go to Teemo. That's an annoying bug. I thought so. So if you if you watch on the next one, they both target Teemo. The first one killing him, the second one does nothing. Oh, that's because the other kindred died. Yeah. That's 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 because yeah. The, the if you look at this kindred, she died right as he casts. As I cast. 
Yeah, she died to the Annie. So he was gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna shoot her. Yeah, but it's like I wonder though if that didn't happen, if I would have won this fight. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, actually, yeah. Okay. Because it would have, it would have kept Maokai alive longer, and so the Vay yeah. I might have gone for her. Yeah. So I was bummed, but obviously I'm just gonna make twenty. So you got, you got a little, little griefed. Um, you could have sold the TF instead of the Aphelios. Yeah, but I don't. Oh, I think, so the reason why I did that is I was still leaving open the option for six mage, which you're going to see is a huge part of my downfall later, is I just, I kept holding okay. on because I hate six Elderwood. I think that, that falls off really hard. I only like it if I'm hyper rolling, or whatever the right terminology is, but only if I've got a three-star option at Vagar and um, Nunu or an early Ash. Otherwise, I always find that the units... They just like you get burned down too fast. You don't get to capitalize on the stacks. But that's because you're not capitalizing on them. Because Maokai should be in the back. Nunu should be like in the back as well. And even here, Maokai in the back. And Annie should be in the front. Mm -hmm. Annie should have been in the front. That's definitely true. Because then, okay, then you get the two extra seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense with Annie in, in the front. I my thought process was. I'm actually trying to say, try to get stacks for Nunu, um, Lulu, and Vagar because they're the ones most likely to impact the fight. But I do agree, since I now so, have an Annie in, she should have been in front. Annie is like the biggest fodder unit here, and then Maokai is the next. So you want Annie up first, Maokai up second, and Nunu up third, essentially. Mm -hmm. And I another agree. thing, uh, he has a... He has a... Um... Giant Slayer? No, that's... Oh my god, the unit, the Teemo. Teemo. So, against him, clumping up like this is terrible. Yeah. But at least I don't have meaningful auto attack yep. things, and this is a classic where, like, oh, well, if I'm playing Aphelios, it doesn't matter because oh. I have QSS. Oh, wow, nice. Never mind. Never mind. He did nothing because, like, you, the unit spread up anyway, but, yeah. They spread out. But that that's purely luck. I was not, as you saw, I didn't even yeah. scout. But which even... Which is... Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, even even <clears throat> like if you position this a little bit better, even if you got screwed by the RNG there, uh, you would have had a, a few more uh, Elderwood stacks going into the fight if Addy was in the front. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but yeah, it's unfortunate. Because yeah. I don't think you got that much stronger by leveling, right? You, oh, you got you got no. brothers in. Okay, I put in. I definitely put in. Um... Whatever, Kindred. And so right there... Kindred's not, Kindred's not terrible. You definitely yeah, don't... I, I, I don't like know. Her. Yeah. Then. I don't know if I want to sell her here, but okay. Fair enough. My Yeah, my thought process um, was, okay, I lost. I'm at 88 health. I can afford to sack. I now want to just make as much money as possible. Because in my head, I'm literally like, I'm going to play this comp at 8. So I want to be able to roll... And okay. so I decided, like, I can't push it. I'm just going to greed as much as possible. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you could have decided that on 3-2 as well, honestly, and not leveled and gone to 40. Or gone to 30 at yeah. least, like, on 3-2. On because, like, your board is not amazingly strong. Like, the, the items on Vygar are not perfect, and, like, you have nothing on your front line. Um, mm -hmm. And... Here, yeah, this is like who who's the best unit here to put in? Why why is it I not saying, why is it not Silas? I did put in Silas. Yeah, why is it not Silas though? Like, oh, it should be someone else. You're saying, um, it's probably Lulu. Oh, okay, okay. Because Lulu increases stall. Um, four brawler is okay. Four brawler is okay. Um, but I think if you had. If you had the Annie and the second Maokai, it's probably the best. Because the mm -hmm. Maokai gets Elwood stacks as well. So if you put in a second Maokai, he gets more Elwood stacks. So he's actually tankier than than Silas and Vi. Gotcha. Yeah, my thought process here was I didn't think I was ahead of the curve with my Vagar itemization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you like, went for Brothers. That's fun. fine. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get cheated on by uh, Aphelios here. Nice. Yeah, like this guy. This is when I start talking. If you listen, like... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scout the lobby, I think, after this. I'm seeing this guy. I'm seeing two people that have already hit Bane 3. And I'm just like, this is unbelievable. I'm already contested because there's that one other guy who's got uh, Vagar 
and then yeah. there's three B-roll comps that are very much online. Um, but you're still at 84 HP, so you're chilling. Yeah. And that was a nearly yeah, perfect but... loss, so that's fine too. And you got a tier for your Vigar. Yeah, nice. Pretty sure you get a tier, right? I do get a tier. And so here's an interesting thing. In your eyes, do you play Ash and chill with six Elderwood, or do you just throw the tier on Vigar? Um, since you're losing anyway, you might as well put the tier on Vigar so he gets a little stronger. Gotcha. That's so I, I would I, I would sell it for for the gold. And I'm trying to find a song that won't be flagged, but maybe that's too late. Um, six Eldorado. Okay, yeah, there, there's options. Like there's reasons for both. It's fine. Nah, I mean you'll you'll see. I make the same decision you do. I'm yeah. like, actually, this is just too much gold. I'd rather get to fifty. This okay, so saying, okay, it's like, definitely not TF. It's definitely not TF. Absolutely. I I realized. I think during the stream, I was like, why did I choose TF? Yeah. yeah. You have a Lulu. I would have chosen. I was, or Lulu, that's her man. I would have chose Lulu if I actually was thinking about it. I was yep. very upset with myself. But yeah, I was just like, I'm stacking still, so this is fine. But yeah, no, I was, I was very disappointed with myself, but I was super happy with the shot. This is where I said, like, this is a top four. I hit Annie two. I'm going to have Vagar two. Um, on four four one, like, what can I possibly do to mess this game up? So I was feeling really good right here. Let's other than see the what you do. That... <laughs> yeah, Ugh, this guy was so strong. That was ridiculous. Um, I'm thinking Jinx over the TFs and the and the Nami. For ah, uh, maybe maybe not. Maybe maybe Fortune's just a bait this late. Oh. I was. You're saying for me? Yeah, yeah but I guess it. I guess uh, yeah. Fortune would be kind of late. Mm -hmm. But I do. Just, I yeah, do I like couldn't... running Fortune if I if I'm running uh, some sort of warlord sharpshooter or some sort of. Oh my god, this positioning is what I wanted the whole time. <laughs> this is the what I wanted the whole time. Because sorry, just... I just did it. I didn't want Vagar to get attacked so he could get as much stacks as possible. But that's exactly like if you're playing against the the Zed player. If you're playing against anyone else, they have to walk up, so you get more more stacks on your Elderwoods. It's like this is the best positioning. Okay. Duly noted. I will yeah. not make this mistake again. And this is Elderwoods. Well, like, there you go. You're saying back. you're gonna get him, and you get him. Okay. Mm -hmm. This this is the this is the second worst thing I do, or third worst. The third worst thing I do in my hot eyes. I th I thought I could sit here. I was like. I'm gonna. I don't want to. It's literally only dropping to forty. But I was like, I can't put in six Elderwood. Yeah, you're I'm not gonna sit work. and I'm gonna win. Yeah. Wait, wait. wait you wait, think wait. that's the right call? Um, that that's fine. But I don't understand why you put the ZZ on Annie instead of Maokai. Uh, so, I was actually debating between Annie and um, uh, Nunu. I wasn't even thinking of Maokai, and so. My reason with Annie was I was expecting to eventually sell her. Okay. And if she's able to tank it at this stage, she probably won't get burst. So she'll get to ult twice, which is just more stall. But is, is Maokai better? Well, if you just look at the HP bars, right? Like he has so much more HP. But it uh, doesn't scale off HP, does it? I thought it's just star level. No, no, but like he's harder to kill. So you make everyone attack the harder to kill unit. That, that's my point. Uh, alternatively, oh, alternatively, the okay. reasoning why it's on Maokai is because you want Annie frontline and you want Maokai in the back <laughs> to catch assassins and shades. Yeah. So you actually, you, you typically want to have the ZZ rod on your back tank to catch, to protect your units even more. So like you mm. have a tank in front to, to take all the aggro and then you have a ZZ rod in the back to get any assassins or shades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to... I used to spam this weapon a lot um, pre-nerf, like when the Nami reroll was very popular. Yeah. I, I feel that it actually has fallen off quite a bit. And also, can you just take a second to complain about the fact that this guy has a chosen Jin 2 at 7 on 4-1? Uh, 
That's rigged. That is so rigged. Yeah, I, okay. I faced that three-star vein on the last one, and this one I'm just like, this is brutal. Just the how well strong some of the people in the lobby are. But I was like, I'm healthy, so. But I'm imagine, healthy. okay, so imagine if if Annie took the aggro first yeah, instead of the Nunu, that. instead of the Nunu, because yeah. the Nunu has would gain armor, right? Yeah. And the Nunu actually is not in giant, slayer. Giant, not in giant slayer range. He's not in giant slayer range. I'm pretty sure. Nunu, uh wait. Okay. Okay. Fine. I guess Nunu one. I guess as long as he doesn't have the other thing, it's just 400 health, so he's probably at what, like 1500. He can't be. He can't be above yeah. 1600. 1750. Before, uh, 1750. 800 plus. Yeah, 1550. But I wasn't at 800. There's only two rollers in at the moment. Oh, right? okay, so or it's. 1150, yeah. Yeah. But he would have... He has 50 armor, right? Mm -hmm. So more stacks from from this would be like 70, 90. <laughs> I think he dies with 90 armor. I think that's about right. He dies with 90 armor. Again, if Annie was there first, he would maybe get to 110, 130 armor. And it's like the might, like the little thing where you die just like where you lose by this. Maybe you get Vigar to cast two more times and pops both of them. Mm-hmm. But you're, yeah. you're fine. It was yeah. hard. I mean, Vagar hit both of them on their, what's it called? Through their GA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Uh, yeah, this is fine. You have two Hunter. Yeah. I think I end up slamming. I don't know if I slammed the AP on the Kindred. I think I was was a little worried about doing that in case I, I didn't move everyone in time. I wanted to be on the other side for this guy. Yeah, good. I mean, I didn't move everyone in time. And but, I, I was so oh, confused wow. for how I didn't beat this guy with when he had Vagar 1 and I had Vagar 2. Obviously, he has more AP. Uh, he has more front line. He has way more front line. Right? Fair, but my Vagar did target his Vagar really quickly because he was Vagar 1. But I realized he was just... That guy had six Elderwood stacks. Yep. And was how much stronger, even though I had Vagar 2 with... And that team. guy has... Uh... A hex stack. I was never gonna win. That guy has a hex stack. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of healing. Yep. I get a good shot though. Yep. Let's see how you play it. Good. And then I was going back and forth between Kindred and uh, Warwick. I think Warwick is Warwick... better. Yeah. Sorry, was that... Yeah, I think Warwick is better. He's a brawler. He gets more HP. You just like you have a Vigar too, right? So you just need yeah. you just need your stuff to survive. That was my thought process exactly. Especially as th at this point in the game, like your Vigar can actually like clean up as long as he has enough enough meat in front of him. Hmm. And so here, I would really want to know your idea of what to do because I, based off of my items and my units, I said I have no idea. I guess I'll just take this. To give myself a nine elderwood opportunity, uh, it's not I it's not nine I elder. You, I don't think you want to go nine, but yeah, you can be six. It can be six or it can be three, based on like what you get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can see right now I'm down to fifty eight, but yeah. the top guy is at sixty six. So it's like, sure, I'm not super healthy, but I, I was pretty much looking at this game and saying, I don't know. I don't feel that super good about me winning. I don't. I think there's a lot of strong people yeah. in the lobby, and I don't think I'm high rolling. So you're going to play uh, for top four. But exactly. That's what I was doing. Yeah, that's correct. I, Here. But I blow it so badly, like multiple times in a row. Okay, so you're not playing Elderwood, or what, what, what are you doing? Um, you're saying long term or just for this? No, like right now, why, is not the, why, why did you not put the Elderwood spat on, on Annie? So I... I, and I think I actually say another thing. I say, I'm greeting for a potential fawn at 4-7 because I thought it's two rounds. Okay. And I'm healthy enough. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Then that's fine. That's fine. You have a reason. That's fine. Nice. You're buying three cost. That's good. Okay, what is this? Yeah. What the fuck is this? So, 
So this is where I was at. I'm okay. I'm on a two streak. My my game plan right now is honestly, I am trying to go eight. And in my head, I was thinking. I thought the math worked out where I could do six Elderwood, six Mage, no. or I could do <laughs> nine Elderwood. And I no. agree, it was awful. You I can't do six, agree. six, six, or you can't do nine because you're missing uh, Ash and uh, Ezreal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would have to hit it on the level eight roll down, and so I agree it was wrong. But my thought process was like, I want to level aggressively here because I'm playing for top four. I think if I hit one of these two comps, I'll just bleed out slower than the other ones. Uh... So all I want to do is save whatever, get the three win streak, three win streak. But I don't like that decision. But that was uh, why okay. I did it. Yeah, but I mean, you, you have a reason you found out why it's wrong. Because, like, now if you win, you ha you're at 30 gold. If you win... You're it's fine at, if I win. If you win, it's like, if you win, you're at 50. You're at 50 gold. But if you lose, then you lose, a, like, you lose, like, four or five gold unnecessarily. Yeah. And I don't think you get that much stronger by putting in a random kindred. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought I did because of the Hunter, but I do agree with that. Um, okay. So, yeah. is Hunter a synergy for you right now? Not a meaningful one. It's not a not, synergy. Even like, though... It doesn't exist. Hunter does not exist. Because mm -hmm. Hunter is for Warwick, who's... Like, Warwick doesn't really do anything. Mm -hmm. And nor does Kindred. Like, neither of them does anything. You could have put in Silas mm -hmm. for four brawler. That would be better, actually. Right? Because mm -hmm. that would give you 400 HP across the board. Which is the only thing that matters against Wayne. HP. So that would have been stronger. Yeah. And yeah, losing here just, just cost you two gold interest. Yep. And it'll cost which you one, one more gold next round. Yep. Mm. So four brawler would have been better. So four brawler would have been better. That's a very good point. Because because um, Hunter does uh, nothing for you. It, it's it's a it's a no synergy. It's just a just a bait synergy right now. Yep. Yep. yep, yep. I I tunnel into that. I I know I do too much late because that's like why legendary comps work so well. Is like you stop worrying that much about synergies and more about the fact that like a five star two cost is very yep. good. But I just tunnel into it. And watch me implode. Look, so I'm at forty seven HP. I guess I'm technically in fifth right now, but I'm at 47 HP. Uh, you're also at 50 gold. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, and so this I'm right now. I'm saying so. I have three mages. I have an elderwood spat, so I can now switch into six elder, six mage if I hold Maokai. And so my thought process when I saw these items was I'm never going to have. A, uh, I can't make Ash a carry with these items. Correct. So I thought that, and then you'll watch me do it on 5-1 or 5-2. I accidentally put in Amni again, and then I'm like, shit, I'm at 5 Elderwood, 5 Mages. I counted wrong. I nice. can't do this unless I go to 9. <laughs> okay, you're definitely buying, you're definitely buying the Sejuani. Yeah. Sejuani. Oh. Because she's a Vanguard and she has a stun. Like, you just told me you need to stall for Vigar, right? So a stun is amazing. A, like stun is, a stun is, a stall, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. And and right here, here I'm like, this, I mean, it, it just it all goes downhill so fast. Nice. You have the Elderwood. Nice, and you slam that. Uh, you should slam that first. You should yeah, slam the locket definitely. before the Elderwood spat. Yep. I didn't get it off in time because I didn't do it. Okay, this lobby is... What the fuck? Two three-star Wayne's? Okay, this lobby is a little bit there of bullshit. There was two three-star Wayne's on three seven, or three six. Okay, this three is a little, six. like... Cut you some slack because it is a little bullshitty. Oh, you put in a second Annie. Okay, and you don't realize it? You have 50 yeah, seconds. Yeah, because I, I, I was trying to see if I could do 6 Mage, 6 Elderwood. Because I'm like, I, I don't think that Warwick is going to carry that well. No, Warwick doesn't like, carry. Oh, shit. Sorry, not carry. Um, but like, 
be a good carrier of um okay and you put this easy um, on one cost okay yeah no, i i'm telling you i uh, i mean on, on a one it. star you don't put it on one star yeah never never and i knew that i shouldn't have done yeah. that but i think this lobby is what... bullshit i mean i do give you that the lobby is bullshit okay 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 so why do you Sorry. just sell the Maokai right now? That is okay, so very confusing. I will absolutely. It was a horrible, horrible decision. Absolutely, that's why I chose this game. Because originally, in the time, I was like, I lost lost my head, and I was like, what do I need to do? But then I watched it back, and I'm like, I kind of know what I need to do, other than these things you're bringing up. But I said, I'm on a three lose streak. I don't feel like I'm close to winning. I am just gonna roll, and I'm hoping for some prayer which was a horrible decision because I think worst case scenario, I go sixth if I do nothing with my board. If I just roll, try to hit two stars. But I was like, in my head, for some reason, I'm like, I'm piss weak. So I wanted to just hit a chosen Ari or hit a chosen Vagar and go for three star Vagar. But um, should not have done it. I just sold okay. all my units. It's not... Like, selling, selling Maokai is not wrong, but you should have sold him on 5-1 when you started rolling. Mm -hmm. Well, on 5-1, I thought I was going to be strong. I thought I was going to be able to um, hit things well. And But look at the lobby. The lobby is yeah. fucking bullshit. There's a Chosen Jin. There's the, 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 the Waynes. Like, complete bullshit. This lobby is complete bullshit. So you have to adopt, ad adapt your lobby. Like, yes, this lobby is high roll. Which means you're praying for a top four. Like, you're, you're never getting better than top four here, no matter what, against those guys. Mm -hmm. So you got to play accordingly. Um, so you Okay, so you're saying you want uh, Chosen Vigar, uh, Chosen Ari. Like, there are be chosen. very that... few Chosen that bail you out, in my, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But, like, on the other, on the other hand, you're not getting to nine... Anyway, so it just yeah. Yeah, and you can feel free to. But but the, the the Sejuani like you gotta grab the Sejuani. Sejuani. Mm -hmm. For Vanguard. Especially because I had, like yeah, Vanguard and, and like, stun. Like, she would be no, but she's so like two star Sejuani buys you three seconds. She buys you three seconds. It's, it's like a almost like whole board stun. It's like Nami from set two. Mm -hmm. Right? She kind of just like sends the wave out and stuns the whole board. So like, she stuns the whole board for three seconds. Which is almost like so. one Vigar cast or like double Vigar cast because he casts twice. So that's like, yeah. Sejuani is really, really good. She's one of the only mm -hmm. four costs I consider even when I'm playing legendaries. Or like she's, she's just a very, very good four cost. Similar to Aatrox. Aatrox is also kind of good. He has like the pull and the damage. He does a bit more damage. So, like, Aatrox and Sejuani are actually not terrible for costs. I dislike Aatrox unless I'm playing in pair with Sejuani. Yeah. I just had such bad luck with him. I find that he either doesn't cast, he dies during cast. Nice. And so at Very this nice. point, I'm like, I rolled all my gold. I'm going to take it. But Very nice, but you, you're not quick enough. And you sold the, the Annie for some reason. You, you mentioned that last. Yep. That I shouldn't time. have sold the Annie. Yeah. I was at the time I was like, okay, Lilia will be my third mage, but And when do you realize that you don't have six Alderwood? <laughs> um I knew it from the beginning, but I was trying to transition down to three, but it was going too fast. It was never the right decision, but my thought process was literally I wanna just get good three, four, five costs in because six Elderwood wasn't working. Okay, but okay, so there's it, the biggest mistake. Um, mm -hmm. You leave your board as strong as possible, and that's what the bench is for. It's very, like, obviously I have to, like, restrain myself as well, not to make this mistake, but, like, you never, like, I do it sometimes as well, but I try to do it less. Like, you never put in shit, like, shitty one stars, like, uh, if you watch, like, higher level streamers, me sometimes included, uh, they will buy good units and hold good units on the bench. 
And I, I love this about Baby, especially. Baby is like, okay, so I, I need to play this two star Kindred, and I can't put in Kane yet, or I can't put in Yon yet, because two star Kindred is better than Yon. And he knows he wants mm -hmm. to play Yon two star, but like Yon one star is not good enough. So he just leaves in like his weaker unit. So like, uh, you should leave in weaker units until you find the strong one, like until you two star the strong ones, if I'm making any sense. Yeah, and I mean, to be fair though, I was facing that four star Ophelios. Like, I mean, this, even this... though I made myself weaker, I was still gonna lose. This lobby is bullshit. Um, there's a Yone there. Another... There was a Yone. There was a Yone there. Mm -hmm. So actually, out of curiosity, why? So I chose as I was like, I'm going down with the ship. Maybe I'll hit an Ezreal too. Why Yone when it was just one? I did like the item okay. on the Yone. Ezreal but... two. Okay, fine, fine. If you're going for Ezreal two, then that that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know why the hell you have a Yumi there and a and a Kindred instead of the Ezreal. I was grabbing, I was grabbing units on the roll down, and then I ended up hitting it. I was like, okay, it's a two star. I'm just gonna take it. Oh shit! Okay, so you sold the. Oh god. Oh okay. You you can't, like you can't make your board weaker. I know. Why would you sell the the Warwick? There's, literally, I, the, I shouldn't have, and this is what I'm saying. I chose this game because yeah. I imploded. I was like, I'm losing, I'm losing, I want to try to get other units. Yeah, I never should have sold, like, three or four of my two-star units, but I still did. Because okay, I'm so like, I need to try to rebuild my board. Based on happen. your board and your shop, based on your board and your shop, what is, what is the best uh, board you can put together right now? Yeah, I think it is still stick with two Mystic. I think it is try to throw in set. Uh, no, so it, I think it's... Um, Wait, sorry, two Mystic? Casio over... Sorry, what's up? You're saying two Mystic. Oh, but you uh, have the yeah, Casio. So, okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's Casio over Yumi. It's Ezreal over um, Kindred. And just say, this is six. Try to hit... Like, I could pick up set, but, like, most likely I'm just trying to hit Nunu 2 or sell one Nunu, move the... Zizirat over to Warwick, and once again, just pray. Just okay. like, don't lose by too much. And try saying that set one star with Elderwood is stronger than Warwick 2. So I hope you put that... It is already. So I hope you put that on the on the set. No, I, I don't even remember what I did, but I know I didn't do it. I, my board just got even weaker. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, and then I... Okay, so this is definitely not it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's set. Okay, so Cassio Elderwood. Um, yeah. Why is Cassio Elderwood <laughs> not not so, that great? Based off of what was literally on my board, I was looking at Cassio or Azir, and I'm like, she's my chosen. But like, I knew, and you could see my face. Like, I knew I became so much weaker, and I was like, well, yeah. I just lost this game. Yep. So it was a little bit of me just not thinking because I was trying to do way too much and be honest. Yeah. Uh, why the Azir? Why not Why not put in Set who gives you Brawler buff? And yeah, he could be Elderwood as well. Yeah. I, I don't know at the time. Yeah, I mean, you, you panic. I mean, it happens to all of us, so like, I'm not gonna grill you too hard. Like, I mean, you, yeah. you panicked, right? So. Yeah, oh, I, pan I panicked after 5-1 and I realistically shouldn't have panicked i should have just been like i knew i was playing for a top four this whole time let me just stay there like let's just keep playing the board roll down and see if i can get a top four like folks because like you can see at none of these rounds did i really get to do any positioning because it was always rolling okay this is like okay i need to look at this because this is complete bullshit in my mind oh don't look at my <laughs> no no is there anyone who didn't completely hire one of their ass this game It's the third game. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So, okay, this guy, normal board, he got shit on. Okay, so we got we got three. Yeah, we had Elder with Ash. That's not good for anything. We're uh, Hunter Ash. Hunter Ash, but those items are not it. Yeah. 
And he was he was going Jack, he was going Jack. divine kind of so he he panicked as well. He panicked as well. <laughs> so we have three star Wayne. We got three star Vigar. We got the oh this guy got chosen Jin guy. This guy had the chosen the Jin. Uh, he got lucky that he got he got fourth. I guess he he preserved a lot of HP. And then another chosen Jin. Then the other chosen then the chosen Wayne. And then we have the What's chosen Wayne. So this was extremely high roll lobby, I think. Especially like since, I... since these guys hit their shit like so early. That was the thing. They hit their shit so early. Mm -hmm. But you you yeah. definitely could have gone better than eighth. Like you definitely could have gone better than eighth. Yeah. Especially so, if you if it... you improved on your like stage two and stage three, parts of stage four, like you just would have preserved more HP. That's mm -hmm. the whole thing. Like you would have preserved more HP. Yeah, I, I agree in general. I think this game in particular, like if you go back, I lost 60 HP in three rounds, maybe four rounds, because look I look at how much I died by. I was at 13. Yeah. I don't know if I won. I thought I died by more than that. So that means 48 HP in stage five. So, like, preserving is nice. Oh, wow. Like, you're, yeah, you're at 47. Damaged. You're at 47 and yeah. you die with minus one. Yeah, so I, I'm generally happy if i'm not high rolling to be at 47 on 5-1 obviously you told me the most important thing was the elderwood positioning but there's a few other mistakes i made that definitely could have saved me whatever two four six eight but then i just would have died on five six and maybe i would have gone seventh i think the really this game i just made so many mistakes yeah going, like it's and, the little and, things like the little things you died by by one eight like one unit so i'm pretty mm -hmm. sure you could have survived that round Right, but I was nowhere. I would have survived, but I I'm looking how weak my board was when I died. That's like yeah, you kind of did drop the ball there, but yeah, totally. if you had just preserved a bit more HP, I think it would have definitely been like a seventh or a sixth. And you're you're at thirty. Were you still at thirty-seven LP? Um, because you were no. This was after. I was at twenty-seven LP, I believe. Oh, you were at. Oh, you you're back in. Okay, nice. Congrats. You're at 27. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So six yeah. would have, six would have been enough Tell not me, yeah. not to not to drop down to zero. Yep. That would have been. Yeah, you should be at 90 on five one. That's what Trash saying. I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it, but I didn't want to make it too easy. Um, so. Yeah. So this yeah yeah. yeah. So um, there's also like the little thing with with, with LP that. Um, like if you're getting like if you're getting close to a zero, you should play for yeah. fir first or eighth. Yeah. Right. Always. That's that's why like the game where I, I dropped where it's at zero, I I had a another a really really bad opener and I said you know what f it like I've got Hunter uh, Aphelios I'm gonna run with it, but then because I was tilted. I didn't realize I only had three Silas's. So I was rolling because I, I hit Diana really early, just like okay. naturally. And so I was like, like okay, it's, it's Hunter, it's not Moonlight, whatever, I'm going to go with it. And then I realized that I had two Silas's. So I rolled like 40 or 50 gold at level six to hit three star Felios, but I was never going to get four star when I could have. Yeah, so I just, yeah. that game, I was like, I'm at zero LP. I'm in a rough spot. It's at this point. It's just like send it, but I was completely well. For this killed. for and this I... game, you're pl you're playing for four. Like this game, you should always play for four, so you get off the zero. Yeah, but I I didn't yeah. have if if you watch that game, you could see that I was in a really really bad position. So I couldn't get to eight. There's no way, and so I wasn't sure what I would play with these items of seven. Maybe if I got a chosen kindred, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, so no, apparently I... try saying it could have been an easy pivot into Hunter, Hunter Adept of Ash. With uh, QSS Hodge, it's, it's decent enough. On this game, you're saying? Yeah, well, and you, and I you got a BT. It, but... yeah. yeah, I would have loved to play Ash, which is why I was like looking with the Elderwood stuff. But if you and saw you never... on the roll down, I saw zero ashes. Okay, so he, he found zero ashes. Okay, yeah, you found zero ashes. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's fair. 
Uh, I was happy to pivot out because I wasn't going to hit Vagar three, but I just didn't hit an Ash. So you're saying you have problems with your with your spamming? So you got to set up your hotkeys properly. Okay, you should have. You should have. Notes. Yeah, you should have this set up. Oh, now let's take a picture. That's even easier. One second. So essentially, when when I'm playing, I have uh, more inputs. My phone's. Locked. That was that was someone on Reddit. Okay, one second. Sorry, my my phone was. Yeah, that's frozen. fine. So Can you show like, me the hotkeys again? Yeah, yeah. It's typically Thanks. mouse button two is right click. Then okay. Z is. Uh, Just the alternative move. Yeah. So you're like you're spamming right click and Z, and then X and C are for, um, like, so that your your little legend kind of like moves forward. <laughs> okay. Like pushes into the, it pushes into the bubble earlier. X and C. Okay. Those are mine. You can put whatever you want, and then you have. Oh no no no! Sorry no no no! That's uh sorry. That's so it turns. So it turns. Oh, attack move doesn't work. It does. Attack move works. Attack move works for turning, I think. So, like, when you press these, it'll turn towards the location. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, obviously, what you definitely need is... It's terrible for League. I, I tried it on, like, tried it on League. League, it's, it's horrible. But for TFT, you want use movement prediction. That's the one where you kind of like get on, get into the bubble a bit sooner. Okay, let me actually just go on to League and change my yeah. settings now. So that that helps like us old people who have like <laughs> uh, Parkinson's and are kind of bad at clicking. So like yeah, fat fingers, Parkinson's, all that good stuff. Because all the young kids who are like sixteen, they can they can spam click, but. Us old older folks, we, we need we need all the hope we can get. <laughs> yeah. Um Well, thanks a bunch. There is yeah. Actually one last You're, question. Yeah, I have. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Based on where I was, so you get some hindsight, but even in the lobby, I knew that a bunch of people were strong. So in your eyes, was it never sell Maokai and just keep it easy with six Elderwood? Or was it still sell it because I had an Elderwood spat and try to find a better usable chosen? Uh, wait. Because I know you said I'm five one. So if I did my at this point, well, first of all, like you shouldn't have leveled up on four seven, right? On four six. Because mm -hmm. you, oh yeah, sorry, four six. You leveled up on four six. So like the way Maokai works. Yeah. Typically, Maokai you can you can go with him to nine if you're if you're having a good game. And you you just put in legendaries afterwards. But if you're having a bad game, okay. you just sell him on eight. Cause he he's a one cost, right? So for your mm -hmm. for your final comp, you don't want him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So the guy in chat is saying yeah that he wrote it wrong. Yeah. He's saying what, what I said. Yeah. So here, like while you're rolling, you should be you should sell the Maokai. Because okay, you're not going to nine, which means you're you're gonna stay at eight, correct? Mm -hmm. So you need to find yeah. a better chosen at eight. Right? Mm -hmm. Like even the Cassio right now would be in the Maokai. Because you have the Elderwood spat, so like any Elderwood like a like a Ezreal or um, Ash, and you you're still at six Elderwood. Hmm. But like any any better chosen like Maokai is not that amazing right now. And I yeah, I really yeah, so, dis so dislike the, idea, the fact you're not picking up the Sichuan. Sichuanis are really good. Really good like really good for the for what you want. You want the stun. Over fucking kindred, that's completely useless. Yeah. And also just the minor thing, uh the whole the whole like the four games, you never actually utilize full locket value because you only have Four units here instead of five. Oh, I thought I, I thought I eventually got around to it, but yeah, nope. I definitely didn't do it. Oh shit! Like the whole the whole time, like the whole time, you never you never actually. Had oh, you're right, because the. I you're right. I did it to the. I never had a unit to the right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're right. I never did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So like, yes, that this lobby was high roll. Like, yes, you were like maybe not even getting top four, but you definitely could have gotten better than eighth. Like, look at looking at some of the other yeah. players, especially like looking at them on the on your low chest. You can see that some of them were a bit weaker. I don't understand the mm. the the Annie sell. He oh, okay, you sell the Annie for for the Lilia. See, look at that. Look at that altar right there. That's where I was like, shit. This is five Elderwood, five Mage, because. At this point, I thought maybe I had an out of if I can just get my Vagar to kill whatever three or four units each round, yeah. that lets me die a little bit slower. But I put in two Annies instead of the TF, and I was like, well, I guess I did my math wrong. And and you're, you're being baited by the, by the Hunter synergy because Kindred 1 does nothing. Uh, Warwick does nothing. He like If he manages to cast, he's going to buff everyone up so they attack a little bit faster, which just builds a bit more mana. But you never need the Kindred. In my opinion. Yeah. So All even right. like keeping the Annie over the Kindred, for example, would have been a bit stronger. Okay. Because it's like, yeah. essentially, essentially, like the easiest way to think about it is try to keep in as many two stars over one stars. <laughs> that's like very simple. And that's like throughout the, essentially the whole game. Because like what, when yeah. I have a really good start, it's because I have a lot of uh, strong, like... Not just like, because I have a lot of two stars. Like, whatever two stars I can put together, if they have any sort of synergy, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, no. I should know better on that one. That I feel like, yeah, I, I used to be baited by the random five-star one cost, which I think can honestly, like, for instance, Yone works super well on... four one four two. like, if you get them early. early Stage because four, they yeah. Usually Stage down. four. But, like... He'll never ult stage five if, uh, unless he's fully stacked with items, if he's a Yone one. So, like, play, I don't know what unit I'd be replacing, but if it's a Kennen two or something and you had keeper value, it's always that over trying to go, yeah. hey, look, I have two adept in a Yone one. Exactly. So, I should have known that. Yeah. Uh, well, if, it, if it's three adept, then it's maybe worth it as well. Mm hmm. But it's like I don't actually love the two to three adept change. I feel like it doesn't feel that impactful. Do you think it's 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 pretty good? I mean, it depends what you're taking out for it. Like if you're taking Fair. out a, a Kenny for it, then no, two star Kenny is definitely better. Because he has a stun, he's a keeper, and if you have keeper value, like then it's not worth it. And a ninja if you don't have no other ninja, so it's like he's actually quite powerful. Mm -hmm. So any other questions? Um. I don't think so. I think that. I guess I feel a little bit better that you that you feel that this was a high roll. I still feel like I squandered a, a fourth, given how much yep. health I had on five one. But maybe that was more optimistic. I mean, it, it's definitely it definitely wasn't an eighth. It definitely wasn't an eighth. Yeah, no, it's never an eighth. It, like it didn't have to be an eighth. That's what I mean. It didn't have to be an eighth. Mm -hmm. uh, does Zephyr sniping just refer to like selling units to then t jumble your Zephyr? Because if so, I'll do that. I try yeah. not to do it on two-star units, though, because I used to get baited by that as well and just get weaker round after round. But if I have a one-star that I... or a couple one-star units, I'm happy to yeah, that, put one in the That's corner, correct, yeah. One the yeah, you should do that. Yeah, Zephyr sniping is, is good, but it's like it's typically something you, you do that... Uh, oh, okay, Zephyr, Zephyr oh. sniping. <laughs> like grabbing the unit and picking it up yeah. and dropping it. I... I do that a little bit because I've, yeah, I've seen that on stream, so I know how to do that. I don't do that too too much, but yeah, I've, I've seen that being done where you can pick it in like the little outline of your guy yep. still shows yeah, up yeah. as you're tapping through. Yeah, um, I guess we'll, we'll end the recording there. Yeah. So we're going to say goodbye for the recording. So thank you for tuning in uh, and uh, thank you for joining us, Paper. Goodbye. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me.